Was it ever a time you feel like, or even still now, that you felt like you didn't get the the respect you deserve from the city? No, I never felt like that. Never? I got mad when the city turned against me, though. When was this? About 2011, 2012, the city turned against me. Well, you remind me. What happened? Everybody thought I was get, making money off YouTube because I was making so many... I was making so many views on YouTube. Yo, so the streets talk, yo, he monetizing, he... Yo, look what he driving, he doing this and doing that. Yo, I knew how to make money on my own. Mm. I'm picking these niggas up. None of these niggas are drove. I'm burning thousands thousands of gas going from east to west, north and south, picking these niggas up. But I, I'm living downtown. They living with the or they living with their with their mothers. You know what I'm saying? But yo, how you living like that? Yo, don't worry about that. This is, I, I'm 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 getting paper. So the streets start telling them, yo, Cleon making all the money. He ain't giving y'all nothing. Mm. So if you got twelve saying he ain't giving y'all no money, then the, everybody start turning against me. But was you though, honestly? No, I got DMX playing in, in music. I got, I got all kinds. I got so many violations on. Yo, I didn't know about uh, monetization on YouTube. Yeah, you can't. Nothing. A lot. I'm 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 filming <laughs> with Walmart cameras and a Mac computer. Yo, ain't it crazy how like, and I'm just learning this now. It's again, all this is just, bro. When you you get to it, it's like, damn, I did not think it was gonna be like this. Like, but. You know how you hear the, the saying, <clears throat> when you get successful, you don't change the people around you? That's so true. Like, even think about it. People assume, like, even my mom's, like, just everybody, like, think of, to paint a picture. I'm living in a high rise. It's lit. I got a better job. Getting money from YouTube. Getting big guests. But guess what? I wasn't smart. I upgraded my expenses with the money that came in. So I'm still living like I was living back home. But what happened is they see... And he's automatically assume, oh, they ass Clee getting assumptions. Money. Clee doing this, why he ain't, bro? I'm still struggling. I'm but still they, struggling. But they like, yo, Clee ain't giving the money to us. Like he ain't sharing the money, bro. I'm, I got a violation on YouTube. You don't even know that. I'm getting limited ads. Some of them is no ads. I only struggling. Think like that. And with some people gonna say, yo, let me. How can we blow this up? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, struggling because hang with struggling. Like they, they think like that. Mm. Yo, man, you got all these nice cameras, yo. Why you ain't paid me yet, bro? The, the twenty thousand I just I probably made went back into the business. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, now, now I'm upgrading so we could double the twenty to make it forty. Mm. But guess what? You about the first twenty, so now you never gonna see the forty and above because I don't want with you no more. Mm. That's so true. So during that time when you said like you feel like the city turned against you, doing so much for the city. Yeah, we know, we saw it. Everybody, like you feel me. And you felt like the city turned against you. How was that in that moment? They like, all right, when I say turned against me, they, it was like, it wasn't a full turn. It was, uh, ah, but Clee's still a good mm. Because before Bluffing I was doing live podcasts called Baltimore Hood News. Mm. I had camera equipment. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started getting my name elevated. I was interviewing all clubs, all party promoters, all clothing lines, everything, right? So I still had a good name, and I still was like running around the, the city. So silent ain't hear that bull. It was just the in the videos were like, yo, nah, I ain't f***ing with Joe. He ain't right. That had to hurt though. No, no, it frustrated me a little bit because what I did, what I did for these, you know, I never spoke on this. Mm. It's the first time I ever speak on this. I'm like, damn, yo, I, boy, you was ready to put out now. If I don't get to talking, we gonna have to start fighting. Mm. Cause I, you was ready to get put out. You was, yeah, you was doing this. You ain't had no money. You stealing clothes. I kept all that shit. In it. I, I knew you purchased by everybody. You asking the whole five hundred so your mother can pay her bills. Cleasy doing shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get everybody on. I had a plan. Listen, we gonna blow up on YouTube. We gonna come to Atlanta, and we gonna give out flyers, get everybody brand big. Whoever break off first, pull everybody up. That always been my motto. Mm. So when they went against you, it was just like it was just frustrating. It was like, man, that's yeah, it was like it was, it was more like, damn, yo, me. But see, I'm a soldier. I'm like, all right, because I can stand on stage by myself and still perform. At that moment, did it make you want to like stop for a second? I don't know. It turned me up even harder. You know what I mean? It made me go harder. Like, all right, well, the very last day when they all turned against me, I'm at University of Baltimore, 500 people. So they all form. They had a stage play. They all these 
formed together like they was trying to set me up. They formed together like, yo, we ain't gonna do the. I didn't hear what they said, but that's what I think they said. We ain't gonna do this. Shit. We all gonna back out the day of the show and like Cleon, unless he pay us more. We ain't getting on stage. Mm. So they all came in like, yeah, yo, we ain't we ain't f with it. You know what I did? I looked at him. All oh, y'all fired. Bye. Got on the phone. I already had nine other actors. Goes right in my script. Mm. Yo, they did it. Pull up. These set in the audience and watch me still do the show. How the mm. f you do this? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a businessman. Like, yo, y'all already moving shaky. Y'all already moving fishy. The day of the show, 500 people, y'all quit. Because y'all want to get paid more. This is my thing. I tell anybody ever with me. I'm not going to my pocket and giving you money. But I can show you how to get money in this business. Mm. I'm not going to my pocket because I'm out here hustling with you. You want me to hustle for you or hustle with you? You want me to sell 20 tickets and then give you $100? Hell no. You stood right there and sell nothing? No. What shit. about the other side of that though? Like for like, because to whom much is given, much is required, right? So like some of these people are, not everybody businessmen like we are. Some people are workers. So what about the people that feel like, bro, I was working for you. I deserve to get paid. I told all of them, y'all independent contractors. Mm. Before you say yes, I'm not going to my pocket to give you the money. But this venue holds 500 people. The ticket is $20. You ain't got to pay for nothing. You bring me back 10, you take 10. Mm. We 21, 22. Me and my boy Josh Austin, we doing 20,000 at the University of Baltimore. Not, not, not even knowing it. Stage plays, $20,000. Mm. In the streets, who put the play together? Me. I paid thousand dollars for the venue. Yo, listen, you want to sell huggies? That's just thing. That's how you make your money. You can sell all the huggies, keep all the money. You you selling shirts? Well, I got the clientele. Boy, you sell all the shirts. Find out how to make the money. Stop running with what I'm making. Mm. You got an avenue to match it. Ah, uh, clean up, making all the money. So, damn. It, you know, you know what that remind me of? That's crazy. It remind me of uh, you ever hear Fifty Cent talk about G Unit? All the time, that's remind me of that, right? Yeah. Like, all the, uh, so, I used to watch. I used to study Fifty and study Puff. Right. I used to study Fifty, study Puff. I like Puff and Fifty. How they would take our artists and build them, but their business structure, like yo, I'm not. I'm gonna put you in position to make money. If, if you can't make money around me, then you ain't the right nigga supposed to be around me. Mm. 